This is the stage where we're going to fit this element into this tank and it's going to go into this feed here. So I'm going to drain this cylinder out of the hose, outside, turn the valve off first of course, drain it out and we're going to just disconnect this and using this T we're going to push this all in and make this fit up and I'll show you how to do that. If um, you're really not sure about doing this part you, you could always get a plumber get a local chap in to fit this element for you. Um, this is probably the dip most difficult part. Um, now if you can't get this in the bottom of your tank there, because I'm lucky the fitting is facing outwards and I've got enough room to clear the, the, the element, but you can, if you can't get it in the bottom, you can fit it in the top in the expansion part of the tank and have your feed there, as long as it's got enough room in the tea and you've got an inch fitting, as you can see you've got plenty of room around that to allow the water to not stop to restrict it and cause it to um, have low pressure you've got plenty of room in that fitting to allow the pressure through that's why we're going to use this not really like to use an inch barrel fitting but it's the only thing that's going to fit there um, but I'm going to use a brass nipple in between to stop the metals from reacting okay so I'll take you through this now so I'll take you through you bit by bit okay we're at the tricky part now where we undo the feed in that bowl out just so you can see you're going to get a little bit of water out of this feed the water's level to the bottom of there we've put that way out and we're just unscrewing this one now when we take this out in a minute I'll show you how that bit goes back into that tank now as you can see I've made the T piece up I've screwed the element in and there's the cable for it it's going to go down under the floor for me because I've got a void that I can connect anything up to now I'm going to make this T piece up the bottom of this because we mustn't allow hot water to go up the coal feed into the roof tank because uh, it's not a very nice thing to do. You've got to get that water up there nice and cold. Um, you, it's one of those things about legionnaires, you could, could start it off with a warm roof tank. I know they get warm in the summer anyway, but we don't want to aggravate things, so we'll take that coal feed down, then we're going to come back up on this height. So we've got a U shape to stop the heat from going back up there and keep it straight into the tank. This element's only just fitted with this on because it's an extremely thin tank. It's only 15 inches in diameter. It's one of the old ones. Most tanks to be 18 inch uh, sizes, you'll have no problem with that at all. Um, we'll go in dead easy. So we'll carry on with the next stage. Uh, now you can see the, uh, the completed job. The element is screwed in to the T, into the tank. We have a T piece and down and back up. And the reason for that dip down an arch is to stop the hot water from going up into the roof tank. We don't want to warm that up, we just want to warm up the tank. Uh, and that's the hardest part really, This getting this element in is probably the most difficult. Um, as I say, if it proves too difficult, you want to get a plumber in to do that bit, still be worth doing. And don't forget, if it won't go in the bottom there, you can always put it in the expansion at the top. Uh, and that's it for the plumbing part. So. I hope you're all right with that. Well, there is the finished article as it should look if you can get it into your cold feed, the bottom of your storage tank.